formerly known as Northeastern Beaver County School District in Northern Beaver County, Riverside High School stands on the Conoquin Essen Creek. My name is Dan Plasmeyer. I'm currently a maintenance mechanic here at Riverside uh, High School. Um, I've been here for 12 years. The Riverside High School construction was completed in 1959 and we had our first graduating class in 1963. The first graduating class of Riverside High School started their freshman year in 1959 and was the only class in the building. The following year, the class of 1964 joined them. The pattern continued and Riverside graduated their first class in 1963. It was said that this class was permitted to vote for the potential name for the new high school during their eighth grade year. The name chosen was Riverside. The pool, the auditorium, the English hall, the science hall, uh, and kindergarten were all added later. The school originally opened for classes on September 8, 1959. The new district gathered students from multiple surrounding middle schools, North Star School, Locust Grove School, and Hillcrest School, as well as a one-room schoolhouse, the Nye School. Prior to the closing of these four schools, there were also several other one-room schools in Franklin, Marion, and North Swickley Township. I'm Jerry Lynn Cummings. Uh, my maiden name was Stockman, Jerry Lynn Stockman. I graduated from here in 1999. Uh, I was born and raised in this North Swickley Township, so I went here K through 12. When I went to school here, the primary center was at the Hillcrest School, uh, the Hillcrest Primary Center on Route 65 up by uh, North Swickley Township Police Department in between there and the gas station. Hillcrest School itself was opened in 1952 in order to close Forest Glen, Grandview, Laurel Point, Malone Valley, Bennett's Run, Wiley Hill, and Pleasant Valley School. The Hillcrest School building still stands on Route 65 between Pantherette Park and North Swickley Fire Station. It is now home to the Felician Sisters Nunnery. Edgewood Baptist Church was built in the place of Laurel Point School. North Star School formerly stood on Route 288. The building was demolished and North Star Shopping Plaza and Advanced Auto Parts now stands in its place. Locust Grove School was abandoned near Steeple Park. The Marion Middle School also taught students who would eventually attend Riverside. Marion opened in 1958 and is located on Hartzell School Road. The building also serves as an office building for Honeywell Corporation. The opening of the Marion School allowed for the closing of the Nye School, which was, interesting enough, one of the last one-room school buildings in the area. What is most interesting about the Northeastern Beaver story is that students who started at a neighboring high school did not transfer to Northeastern when it opened. Prior to the construction of Riverside High School, students in the original middle schools would graduate to one of the neighboring high schools, New Brighton, Beaver Falls, Zillianople, or Elwood City High School. But I remember when I was at Elwood in 7th and 8th grade, we called Riverside River Rats. At the time, I didn't have a problem transitioning from being a Riverside kid to being an Elwood kid. However, as an adult, I taught at Elwood for two years. That was hard. I found it difficult to cheer for, you know, I supported the students that I taught and I went to the football games and I would cheer for them against the other teams, but when my students were playing Riverside, I could not cheer against Riverside. Couldn't do it. I just remember growing up and there being tractor day in the high school and the whole entire, from the tennis courts all the way to the football parking lot, there was probably anywhere between 30 to 50 tractors lined up. But the one thing that I'm proud of, and I think this is a little bit of my background here, is just that um, I'm kind of big into tradition and that's one thing that I don't want to see go away, that I really appreciate it. And they, um, they've let it go on here and the kids always seem to participate. We had faculty last year with the Hayride and uh, it just ended up being something that is hopefully going to continue forever and get bigger and bigger. 
Hi, my name is Mrs. Laura Cipriano, and I'm the new high school librarian here at Riverside Beaver County High School here in Elwood City, Pennsylvania. We have yearbooks dating all the way back to 1963, the first year that Riverside opened, and we have yearbooks all the way up to the current issue of um, 2011. Um, in the yearbooks, of course, you're going to have all of the faculty and staff who worked here over the years, as well as the students and the classes and the school events that have taken place. And like I said, these are all located in my office and people can come see me to take a look. We also have a website that is available to students and teachers and it is our Riverside High School Library website. And on that website, students can access information about the project. They can also access information for completion toward their student projects. That website is located at riversidehslibrary.wikispaces.com.